What's up, YouTube? It's the second son here. I've been doing a lot. I'm sorry I haven't been um, been posting as much as I said I've been posting. I promise you, all that's about to change. It's just been a crazy couple of months. Um, I'm currently here in Oregon um, on vacation, sort of, which is why the setup looks different, uh, which is why I actually uh, have my lady holding the camera instead of I didn't bring my tripod, and so her shaky hands is, is fucking up the footage. Um, but anyways, um, I just wanted to give a quick update about where I've been, what I'm doing. Today I just wanted to quickly talk about some five things I learned um, while shooting my last music video. Um, it wasn't much of a music video actually, it was a fashion shoot in the cities. Um, I shot it outside, it was the 4th of July, it was the middle of the day, it was hot as shit. The sun was blaring, it was, it was, it was facing on my neck. Um, but it was fun, I liked how it turned out. Um, there were some things I did that I really liked, some things I did that if I could go back, I could do it again. So I just compiled these little five things I learned while making that video to help you guys so that when you go out there and make a video like this, a fashion shoot or any shoot out in the middle of the day, really, that it doesn't turn out silly um, and you don't make the same mistakes I did. So make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, please, please like and subscribe, share um you know per turn the post notifications on it really helps me a lot um and yeah here are the five things i learned point number one invest in a monitor now i'm shooting with my sony alpha uh three my sony a7 three it's it's bright as hell outside i mean it's the middle of the day it's like 2 p.m right the sun is is shining and I don't have a, I don't have, all I have is my handheld rig. I don't have a rig with a monitor on it. I didn't have anything. So I, all I had is that tiny little uh, uh, Sony a7 monitor that doesn't even flip around and it doesn't get very bright. And so what happened was, is as I'm shooting, I'm like looking into the monitors. Didn't help me much. Um, the sun was glaring on the screen. I couldn't see a lot of what I was doing. And as a result, there are some clips that... So most of them didn't make it into the final footage, but there's a lot of them on the cutting floor that just they were messed up <laughs> Messed up in ways that like just just I'll actually talk about later on in the list um, So for number one get yourself a rig get yourself a nice little camera rig If you're gonna do day shoots in the middle of the day get yourself a nice little camera rig with a uh, With a monitor on it It'll go a long way. I promise if if you want to invest in something for your for your videography or whatever Get yourself a rig with a monitor. That's 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 part one. Uh, point number two, and this is this is uh, for people who want uh, nice, stable, clean shots. But invest in a stabilizer. I shot that video, like I said, with my handheld rig. It was not a stabilizer, um, and most of the time, at some point, I just took it off and decided, fuck it, I'm going handheld. And what that happened, what happened as a result was a lot of the shots came off really, really shaky. Um, I had the Sony Alpha, uh, the Sony A7's camera, in-camera stabilization on. The Sony camera image stabilization is ass. It's for shit. It's bad. It... Get it, get a stabilizer. Um, right now I'm rocking with the, um... Uh, the DJI Ronin SC. I've been using that for a couple weeks now. Still getting the hang of it. I really like it. It's given me some really smooth shots in places where I knew damn well I would not have gotten smooth shots. And had I had that uh, stabilizer when I shot the video, my shots would have been better. The, the overall quality would have been more. Right? So, my tip to you is if you're going to shoot outside and you're shooting a video where there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of, there's a lot of going around, there's a lot of, you know, up and down business, you want to invest in a stabilizer because handheld, especially on something like the A7, is not your friend if you want smooth, stabilized shots. If your aesthetic is going for choppy, little shaky things, like uh, like my camera woman is, is uh, holding on a little bit, <laughs> then, then that's okay. That's okay. Um, point three is aperture. Aperture, aperture, aperture. So... Here's a little story time. We are over there, we're shooting the sun, like we're shooting, we shot for a couple hours, so the sun obviously changed directions, right? And because I couldn't see my monitor very well, 
my aperture settings, my aperture settings for some shoots were for shit. Some were way too dark, some were way too overexposed. I didn't set the aperture right. It was a really beginner mistake, and uh, I was a beginner at the time. I'm getting a little more experience, um, and yeah, it was it was it was something that I didn't keep in mind when I was when I was uh, when I was shooting that I had to get the aperture right and you know systematically correct. So my advice is that get your aperture straight. Have a um, have a consistent aperture level that you want to set your camera on. Um, keep the lighting consistent. If there are shadows overhead, or if you're somewhere where the building is 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 if you just shot a scene where it's nice and sunny and your your uh your model's face is lit up perfectly and then you're gonna transition that to a scene where he's inside a shadow and it's not gonna be pretty especially when you want to do those seamless transitions and stuff like that it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be what you want um point four plan 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 the hell out of your shots plan meticulously too much planning is not enough planning Plan more, and then plan some more after that. Because what I did is I planned. I planned the shots, or at least I thought I did. And I get there, and my plan falls off the window when I, I just I just didn't write enough. I didn't plan enough for how I wanted to move the camera for my transitions. I didn't plan enough for where I wanted my subject to be when we were in the spot. I didn't I didn't even plan for. For, I had done location scouting before and I knew the location. I got familiar, familiarized myself with the location prior to shooting, um, but I didn't plan enough, for my, I didn't plan my shots enough for it to actually turn out exactly the way I wanted. So the next step is definitely to plan your shots. Um, and the final, the final tip, the final thing I learned is that you're gonna wanna invest in a Sunseer. Um, there are some apps on the Google Play or the App Store uh, that are paid, I think like ten ninety nine. They will help you track the sun, track where the sun is, um, so that when you're shooting outside, you can have a consistent amount of light, and you can know where the sun is and when it is, and and how, and you're able to maneuver around that to get better shots. That was one thing I'd wish I had. That's one thing I had. I wish I'd used and implemented during my shoot. However, I just wasn't thinking about it, and so that with the other things that I didn't do exactly as right as I wanted created a. Some shots that I didn't enjoy. Overall, I really enjoyed the project. It was really good experience. I loved working on it. And I think it, I think for a beginner, it turned out well. I think it turned out nicely. Um, and I've learned a lot since then. And those are just the things I wanted to share. Never will I pretend to be a professional. Um, I'm definitely not a professional. So don't take my advice as like king. Just learn from me, learn from the mistakes I've made in the videos I've made prior. It, if I could make these changes, then I would. Um, so yeah, just take these advice from me and um, next time your videos will be nicer. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next week with, uh, with another video.